and really make it uh, a point of reference for people who come to town. Is the city going to be involved in seeing that she gets a few bucks to help that happen? <laughs> She's kind of pushy, isn't she? <laughs> Well, that will be open for discussion. How's that, Gene? I'll leave that on the table. How's that? That's, a, that's something that uh, you can bring forward to it and we'll talk about. It. How's that? Okay. University. Anybody from the university here? Please raise your hand. Okay, guys, way back in the background. You know, one of the things that's exciting, I don't know if Ron Smith's here or not. Is he back there somewhere? Oh, okay, there he is. And Ron and I serve on a couple of different boards. We get a chance to have a breakfast with others from the university. And one of the things that I'm excited most about in our town, and it's something that I made a big deal about, is our city and our chamber and our university all go in the same direction. And folks, we can be a force in the state if we do that and we do it right and we're smart about how we do it. And if there was ever a time for our city to work together and make things happen is now. I'm going to tell you something. We can work collectively as a group and get a lot of things accomplished. And we will get a lot of things accomplished. And I look at it as a big team. I don't look at it as something that I'm going to personally try to achieve for kudos for me. But I look at it if we win, we all win. And that's how I look at it. It's a team effort for all of us. And I'm so excited about working with the new president, Chuck Stevens and the intern before, Don Burnett, because we, I felt like we started off with some terrific relationships, and I look forward to those. Those are very meaningful. And then that goes as well with our county partners as well. I just thought I'd throw that out there to you. Shelly? Thank you for those comments because you're absolutely right. The University of Idaho is so important and some of the folks, some of the names I've been in, I've made a big deal out of this. When the university starts, this town should shout the University of Idaho. When we have a home football game, we should... Thank you. The, the thing of it is, is, in my view, folks, in my view, I think we've kind of lost a little bit of that spirit. And I don't think that's anybody's, any particular organizations fall. You know, I mentioned earlier, you know, we've had seven presidents in 15 years, and we need to get that reestablished. And that's one of the things I talked to Chuck Stevens about. When school opens up, we should have some events at the market that make sure we folks know that we are in Vandal Land. And every time we have a home football team, I encourage businesses throughout this entire city to let their employees wear Vandal gear and make a big deal out of it. And I even talked, and I don't know where this at, I mentioned it to Gina Teresio, I mentioned it to the city staff. I'd like to see some kind of, when the school starts, being able to maybe cut off from 3rd Street to 6th Street one night, have a street dance, have some kids out there, have some fun, and get this thing going. What do you guys think of something like that? <laughs> when I go to Boise, anytime I go to Boise, I always make sure in 3rd and I wear an Idaho vandal shirt with me. <laughs> I was back in Washington, D.C. a couple of weeks ago to the National League of Cities, and they had an entertainment night where 1,500 of us was there, and folks were dressed up real nice. I wore my Idaho pullover shirt because I wanted folks to see that I was from Vandal Land, and we need to make that. And we talked to, you know, this Boise State thing. Ha! We're going to work on that, folks, and we will win. We will win. We're going to get the battle. And there's lots of things we can do, and any time I go to Boise, I make a big deal out of it with whoever I talk to, and it's exciting. So if anybody's from here from Boise State, why, we're on our way. <laughs> but this is exciting, working with the University of Shelley, you're absolutely right, this should be a community commitment that we do. Um, and I talked about the band program, and Tyler's here somewhere, uh, Tyler Palmer. This is a conversation that Tyler and I have had as well about the university, university involvement, and getting their banners up whenever we need to and making a big deal out of it. That's a big deal for our community, and we need to shout about it. We need to have vandal pride, folks. Simple as that. Somebody had a question back there. I seen our... Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, my name's Kurt Obermeyer. Uh, is there any 
plan for the city to help lobby the legislature to restore some of the cuts to the university budget? You know, that's an interesting thing. I see Shirley, uh, or is it Cindy again? He's just walked in the door. There she is, right? You know, um, I was down through the legislative tour as well as the uh, chamber tour in Boise. And, uh, you know, folks, I can tell you why. I talk about a team effort and what we can do here in Moscow. You know what? We can be example leaders of a number of different fronts that we do here for our entire state. I'm very careful how I say that, but education is something that should be important for all of us. And whenever we can talk about it, yes, we do talk about that, sir. So. More questions? Come on, folks. You guys are quieter than usual today. I know Gene would like to put me on pressures. I mean, Gene, you got any questions for me? Here, right back here. Council and wherever. Are you going to be able to get your golf handicap down a little bit this year, or are we going to have to uh, continue playing with uh, the same old hacker? Well, I'm going to give you the answer. I do like to play golf, and I doubt John because he's better than I ever asked. Him. <laughs> I have a golf handicap, but when I play golf, I'll tell you what, folks, and I tell the city staff this, and I'll tell you guys this in your own personal life: work hard and play harder. Life is too short. A lot of the things we do is stuff. Work hard, play harder. I doubt if my golf game will ever get better, John. <laughs> now, I got a, a kid that can sure kick my you know what on it. But I have a good time. But as long as I can beat you, John, I'm okay. <laughs> Next, another question out here. This has been a, a very good time for me, Gina. Thank you very much for inviting us to do this and talk. And thank you for your attention, folks. You know, Moscow is a wonderful place. We all know that. We love it. And I'm telling you what, this team concept that I talk about, it will always come out of my lips because I'm so sincere and I believe in it. Now, does that mean, you know, not everything's going to go smooth all the time, folks. That's not what I'm saying. But there's a lot of things that we can accomplish when we work together. And we, in my view, can be a force in the state of Idaho. Thank you.